With various types of learning from different types of information system, we will know as to what are the major types of systems in a business. What role do they play? How do information systems support the major business functions? Why should managers pay attention to business processes? What are the benefits and challenges of using enterprise systems? For most businesses, there are a variety of requirements for information. Senior managers need information to help with these business planning. Middle management needs more detailed information to help them monitor and control business activities. Employees with operational roles need information to help them carry out their duties. As a result, businesses tend to have several information systems operating at the same time. This revision note highlights the main categories of information system and provides some examples to help you distinguish between them. Information systems support different type of decisions at different levels of organizational hierarchy. While operations manager mostly makes structured decisions, senior managers deal with unstructured decisions. Middle managers are often faced with semi-structured decisions. For each functional area in the organization, four levels of organizational hierarchy can be identified. The operational level, the knowledge level, management level and the strategic level. Each of the level discussed is served by different type of information system. Transaction processing system, TPS. Knowledge management system, KMS. Management information systems, MIS. Executive support system, ESS. The figure shown here illustrates various organizational levels and functional systems. The figure shown on this slide illustrates various types of systems with examples. Now let us discuss a little about Operation Support System or OSS. OSS generally refers to the system or systems that perform management, inventory, engineering, planning and repairing function for communications, service providers and their networks and support business operations. Originally, OSSs were mainframe based standalone systems designed to support telephone company staff members in their daily jobs. Essentially, those systems were designed to automate manual processes, making operations of the network more error free and efficient. Today's next generation service providers are required to manage a much more complex set of products and services in a dynamic competitive marketplace. As a result, these service providers need next generation OSS solutions that take advantage of state of the art information technology to address their enterprise wise needs and requirements. Next generation OSSs help service providers maximize their return on investment in one of their key assets. Information OSSs ultimately help enable next generation service providers to reduce costs, provide superior customer service, and accelerate their time to market for new products and services. Next generation OSS solutions are designed to help service providers achieve success in marketplace by delivering superior customer service and rapid time to market for new products and services. A next generation OSS should enable work to flow electronically across a service provider's organization, providing visibility to business processes and resource utilization. It also should enable the service providers to manage the end-to-end -end service delivery process that often involves more than one type of order or transaction across the organization as well as with other service or network providers. A powerful OSS solution can also help service providers meet their goals while controlling and reducing operating costs. Transaction processing systems or TPS record daily routine transactions such as sales orders from customers or bank deposits and withdrawals. They are vital for the organization as they gather all the inputs necessary for other types of system. Think about how one should generate a monthly sales report for middle management or critical marketing information to senior managers without TPS. TPS provides the basic input to the company's database and a failure in the TPS often means disaster for the organization. As is quite obvious, four important characteristics of a TPS are rapid response, reliability, inflexibility and controlled processing. Let us look at this figure now to understand major types of functions for systems in organization. Process control is a statistics and engineering discipline that deals with architectures, mechanisms and algorithms for controlling the output of a specific process. A commonly used control device called programmable logical controller or PLC is used to read a set of digital and analog inputs, apply a set of logic statements and generate a set of analog and digital outputs. 
In practice, process control systems can be characterized as one or more of the three forms, namely discrete, batch and continuous. Discrete form is found in many manufacturing motion and package application. Robotic assembly such as that found in automotive production can be characterized as discrete process control. Batch comprises of application that require specific quantities of raw materials to be combined in specific ways for particular duration to produce an intermediate or end result. One example is the production of adhesives and glues, which normally require the mixing of raw materials in a heated vessel over a period of time to form a quantity of end product. Continuous processes are used to produce very large quantity of manufacturing product per year. Often a physical system is represented through variables that are smooth and uninterrupted in time. The control of water temperature in a heating jacket, for example, is an example of continuous process control. Applications having elements of discrete, batch and continuous process control are often called hybrid applications. Collaboration is a watchword and a recognized outcome of the increasing integration in business and industry. The industrial revolution borders standardization and as it continues to evolve, standardization has widened into the concept of rationalization. In recent times, flexibility has been added to the evolving nature of industry which includes such developments as flexible manufacturing, concurrent engineering, supply chain management, etc. But the next step in this evolutionary process is developing out of the newly IT-enabled practices such as e-business, e-engineering and on-demand business and it is these IT-enabled practices that bring the concept of collaboration to the next level of industrial evolution. Collaboration here means cooperation among independent enterprises towards some common tasks and even cooperation among distributed systems and processes within the same enterprise. Abbreviated as ECS, Enterprise Collaboration Systems is a type of information system that uses a variety of information technologies to help people work together. It helps us collaborate to communicate ideas, share resources and coordinate our cooperative work efforts as members of the many formal and informal process and project teams and other work groups that are vital part of today's organization. Management support system are computer based systems that are supposed to be used by or at least to support managers. A major problem in MSS development is requirement specification. There exists a large number of systems development method SDM. When information system application focus on providing information and support for effective decision making by managers, they are called management support systems. Providing information and support for decision making by all types of managers and business professionals is a complex task. Conceptually, several major types of information systems support a variety of decision making responsibilities. Some of these are management information systems, decision support systems and executive information systems. The figure here shows an example of how management information system obtains the data from the organization's TPS and eases the job for the annual budgeting. Decision support systems are a class of computer based information systems including knowledge based systems that support decision making activities. It belongs to an environment with multidisciplinary foundation including database research, artificial intelligence, human computer interaction, simulation methods, software engineering and telecommunication. In easy words it can be said that DSS input volume data makes interactive processing to give a process decision analysis as an output and is used by professional as well as their staff. The table shown presents a sample report that might be produced by the DSS. Similarly let us have look on voyage estimating decision support system. An executive information system EIS is a type of management information system intended to facilitate and support the information and decision making needs of senior executives by providing easy access to both internal and external information relevant to meeting the strategic goals of the organization. It is commonly considered as a specialized form of decision support system DSS. The emphasis on EIS is on graphical displays and easy to use interface. They offer strong reporting and drill down capabilities. In general EIS are enterprise wide DSS that help top level executives analyze, compare and highlight trends in important variables so that they can monitor performance and identify opportunities and problems. Let us see an illustrative model of typical executive support system. An ESS has the advantage of being easy for upper level executives to use. 
Extensive computer experience is not required in operations. Providing timely delivery of company summary information. Ensuring that information provided is understood better. Filtering data for management. Improving the methods to track information and offering efficiency to decision makers. Needless to say, ESS is interrelated with other systems in the organization. The same is depicted through the figure shown here. Several other categories of information systems can support either operations or management application. For example, expert systems can provide expert advice for operational chores, like equipment diagnostics or managerial decisions such as loan portfolio management. Knowledge management systems are knowledge-based information system and support the creation, organization and dissemination of business knowledge to employees and managers throughout a company. Information systems that focus on operational and managerial applications in support of basic business functions such as accounting or marketing are known as functional business systems. Finally, strategic information systems apply information technology to a firm's product, service or business processes to help it gain strategic advantage over its competitors. Expert systems can be explained as knowledge-based systems that provide expert advice and act as expert consultants to users. Examples are credit application advisors, process monitors and diagnostic maintenance systems. Knowledge management systems are knowledge-based systems that support the creation, organization and dissemination of business knowledge within the enterprise. Examples include intranet access to best business practices, sales proposal strategies and consumer problem resolution systems. Strategic information systems support operations or management processes that provide a firm with strategic products, services and capabilities for competitive advantage. For example, online stock trading, shipment tracking and e-commerce web systems. Functional business system supports a variety of operational and managerial applications of basic business functions of a company. Examples can be information systems that support application in accounting, financing, marketing, operations management and human resource management.